Hello and welcome to the Bearded Mathman's YouTube channel. Hey, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is examining different intervals on a polynomial function and determining if that function is increasing or decreasing over that interval. And we're going to be using some algebra tricks to determine that. So let's get to it, shall we? Now, when we're talking about a, a function, a polynomial function, like the one that's graphed here, decreasing is when you read, you can tell if it's decreasing by reading the graph from left to right. If from left to right, like here, it's going down, it's decreasing. Whereas if from left to right over a given interval, it's going up, then it's increasing. So the interval that this graph is increasing on right now is from here, which looks like maybe 0.9 to zero. It's increasing. So if x from x equals negative 0 0.9 to 0, it's increasing. Whereas it's decreasing from negative infinity all the way up to negative 0 0.9. You see? Whereas it starts decreasing again from 0 to 0.9 and increasing again from maybe 0 0.9. It looks like it's 0 0.9 to positive infinity. So from left to right, if it's going down, it's decreasing. If it's going up, it's increasing, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But that's a visual way to analyze if a function is increasing or decreasing over a given interval. But let's talk about how we're going to do that algebraically, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to pick two x's that are in that interval. If the x's are increasing and the y's are decreasing, that means that it's going to be going down from left to right. So from left to right, if you pick two x's like 0 and 0 0.5, Right? That means that from left to right, the x's are increasing, right? So the first x is smaller than the second. If you plug those in and you find out that their related or corresponding y values are decreasing, like from 0 to negative 0 0.4, then what you end up having is a decreasing interval. So let's see what that looks like on the graph, right? So we, we're going to tie these two things together, and then we'll show you, we'll break it down so you can figure out how to do this step by step. But I think it's a really good idea to, to have the concept solid in your mind before we do that, right? So let's see what it looks like. So as x is going up, y is going down. Do you see? From left to right, x is going up, and y is going down. So we're starting at 0 for x, and the output is 0, and we're going to 0.5 for x and the output is negative 0 0.4. So from left to right, x is increasing, of course, because left to right x increases, but y is decreasing. That is a decreasing interval. Do you see? Now, if we wanted to see, let's just make sure, like all the points from here to here, x is increasing, but y is decreasing. x is increasing, but y is decreasing. So from here, as you can see the coordinates, the x-coordinates are going up, whereas the y-coordinates are going down. They're getting more negative. So that, that's what it looks like algebraically when you have a decreasing interval. Do you see? So if you get this, you have a decreasing interval. All right, now, what an increasing interval is going to look like is x will increase and y will increase. So if as x goes up, y also goes up, then you happen to have the case where your interval is increasing. So let's see an example to break this down, right? So let's say we're going to talk about the function right here, 3x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th minus x squared. And over the interval from x is negative 1 half to 0, we're going to determine if this function's increasing or decreasing. That's it. So a best practice you know, we're going to plug in some some values in this interval. The best, best practice is make your x1 the smaller number and the x2 the larger number. So that way, from left to right, you're increasing for x, right? Now, all you got to do is plug those two values in to the function to figure out what their corresponding outputs are. So we plug in 0.5 for x. We plug in 0 for x, right? And then we just do the math. So we find out that at negative one half, the output is negative 0 0.39. Whereas the second y, when we plugged in zero, which is x2, the y2 is zero, right? So y1 is negative 0 0.39 and y2 is zero. Well, let's see here. I'm pretty sure that this y1 is smaller than y2. That means that this is going up because as x increases, y is also increasing. So that means that our function 
is increasing over that interval. So we've got a picture right here. Negative 0.5 is right here. Zero is here. We can see on this interval, it's increasing from left to right. This is what it's going to look like algebraically, and this is what it looks like you know, visually, of course. So to summarize, let's put all this together, shall we? If you're going to determine how a function is behaving over a certain interval, if it's increasing or decreasing, what you're going to do is you're first going to pick two numbers. So let's say this is our function right here, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And the interval we're given is from negative 3 to negative 2. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick two numbers in that interval. You could pick negative 3 and negative 2, but we could also pick any two, into, any two x values that are in that interval. So for this example, let's do negative 2.5 and negative 2.25. So negative 2.5 and, and negative 2 and a quarter, right? So after you pick your two values, you plug those two values in to see what the outputs are. So when I plug in negative 2.5, I get 21. When I plug, it, plug in negative 2.25, I get 17.9, so almost 18. After you're done with that, all you've got to do is determine which case you have. If as x is increasing, y is also increasing, then your function's increasing on the interval. If, though, as x is increasing, y is actually decreasing, that means as you're going from left to right, because as x is increasing, that's left to right, y decreasing is going down. So that would mean that the function is decreasing. So in our case right here, we have x is increasing, but y is decreasing. So we're going up from negative 2.5, we're going right from negative 2.5 to negative 2 and a quarter, while the y outputs are going down from 21 to just a little under 18. So we have the situation where x is increasing and y is decreasing, that would be a decreasing interval. So this function is decreasing on our interval that we were given. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please give it, please give it a, a thumbs up, share it. Uh, Feel free to visit my website, thebeardedmathman.com. I will leave a link in the description below. Right now, this is a topic fits in with polynomial functions in Algebra 2, but there's all kinds of other stuff in there, and it's being updated on a nearly daily basis, so there's new stuff all of the time. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys are safe and wonderful, and uh, I, will hope, I also hope to see all of you guys soon.